Oil, known as black gold, is the engine of the modern economy. But how is it formed? How is it extracted from the depths of the earth? In this journey, we are going to explore its origins, extraction techniques, and the process that transforms it into energy. Oil is formed over millions of years from the decomposition of organic material buried under sediment. Heat and pressure turn these remains into hydrocarbons. This process, which spans geological eras, creates deposits trapped in porous rock, protected by impermeable layers. The creation of an oil field requires three main elements. Parent rock is a layer of sedimentary rock rich in organic material. This is where the transformation of organic matter into hydrocarbons occurs through heat and pressure. Reservoir rock is a porous and permeable rock formation such as sandstone or limestone which allows oil to accumulate and move. Cap rock is an impermeable layer often consisting of clay or evaporites that seals the reservoir and prevents hydrocarbons from escaping to the surface. These layers, arranged in a favorable structural configuration such as an anticline or a statigraphic trap, ensure the formation of exploitable reservoirs. The search for oil begins with geological and seismic studies. Geologists analyze the structure of the subsurface using seismic waves to identify potential reservoirs. Only a fraction of the identified resources proves to be economically viable. Once a reservoir is identified, drilling begins. A drilling rig, or derrick, digs a well that can reach depths of thousands of meters. At the core of this operation is the drill, a rotating tool that crushes rocks to create the well. The drill consists of several sections. The drill bit, a steel or ultra-resistant material component often with industrial diamond inserts designed to penetrate even the hardest rocks. Drill pipes, hollow tubes that transmit rotation and allow drilling mud to circulate. And a rotation system, often powered by hydraulic or electric motors, enabling precise and powerful rotation of the drill. During operations, special drilling mud is pumped through the pipes to cool the drill bit, lubricate the process, and remove debris. As the well deepens, drilling passes through various rock layers, each with unique characteristics that require technical adjustments. In 1859, Edwin Drake drilled the first commercial oil well in Titusville, Pennsylvania, using a modified water pump. Drake was so confident in his success that he built a tower around the borehole to look professional. When oil began to gush, he was so surprised that he had to quickly invent a method to collect it. Oil can be extracted in various ways. The most common extraction techniques include primary extraction, which exploits the natural pressure of the reservoir, allowing oil to flow to the surface without mechanical assistance. Secondary extraction. When pressure decreases, water or gas is injected into support wells to push crude oil toward the production wells. Tertiary extraction, which can also be called enhanced oil recovery, employs techniques such as steam, polymers, or carbon dioxide injection to increase crude oil fluidity and improve recovery rates. One of the most iconic tools is the oil pump, also known as the nodding donkey. This mechanical device is designed to extract oil from reservoirs where there isn't enough pressure to flow naturally. The oil pump consists of a pump jack head, the swinging arm that generates the movement necessary for pumping, the sucker rod, which connects the pump to the underground reservoir, extracting the crude oil through alternating motions, and the motor, which powers the entire system ensuring continuous extraction. These pumps are often seen in oil landscapes working tirelessly to bring precious crude oil to the surface. 
Once extracted, crude oil is separated from water, gas, and sediments. It is then transported via pipelines, tanker ships, or railways to refineries, where it is transformed into usable products such as fuels and plastics. Oil extraction has a significant environmental impact, including pollution, greenhouse gas emissions, and the risk of spills. Modern technologies aim to reduce these effects, but there is still a great challenge that remains in the transition to sustainable energy sources. From deep within the earth to our homes, oil is an essential resource, but also a reminder of our dependence on non-renewable energy sources. The future challenges us to find a balance between innovation, sustainability, and progress. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We recommend you visit our website, jacecompany.com, to learn about our upcoming projects. Thank you.